Welcome back to The Rundown, everyone. I'm your host, Nick Simonson. We are forcing spring's hand. I know that the weather across Runnings territory has been very, very challenging. A very cold February and a rough start to March. But we are here at Nelson Lake in the middle of North Dakota. Uh, like I said, forcing spring's hand. Here the water's always open due to a power plant discharge. We are identifying holding pockets for one of my favorite early spring uh, fishing targets, and that's bull bluegills. And we're finding a lot of nice ones from that eight to 10 inch range on the top end but consistently in that seven to eight, keeping things enjoyable, keeping things exciting. And Runnings has all of the equipment that you need to get engaged in that ultralight or that light tackle fishing for panfish, which are one of those first species, now whether it's a bluegill or a crappie, they're gonna be going up into the shallows, whether you're on a lake like this, or a small farm pond, or maybe a backwater bay on your favorite lake, that's where you're gonna find those fish uh, right away in spring as things warm up, as they're starting to think about spawning. And the season across Runnings territory, whether it's Minnesota, North Dakota, is always open for panfish, so they make a great first target. Stop at your local Runnings to pick up a micro reel and spool it with something thin. You want that three pound test, that four pound test. Uh, that way the big eyes of like crappies and bluegills aren't going to see uh, what you're using. They're not gonna see a big thick line and be turned off. Additionally, you want to invest in some jigs. You want to get uh, those small jigs, those flu-flu type jigs, or them smaller Northland uh, gypsy jigs to get on the fish uh, that you're after, whether it's crappies or bluegills. You want to be all set up and ready to roll as soon as things get better in the outdoors, as soon as this snow melts away and, and things improve, you're going to be on fish because you will have the right gear. Additionally, you want to remember the water. You want to remember uh, how to read things. Obviously, we've been snowbound for quite a while, and a lot of us have been fishing the hard water for the last three months. Uh, so it's, again, getting used to uh, seeing how flowing water works, uh, watching for those increases in temperature, and targeting those breaks as those fish move up in spring. So you want to pay attention to how the water is changing. Obviously, with runoff and, and inflowing water, that's going to change your tactics as well. So you want to target whether you're on a river or an inflow like we are today and, and looking for those pockets that hold fish, or you're looking in those backwater bays, those spawning areas, and watching for fish movement from those depths up to the breaks and into the shallows when things start to warm up. If you stop in at your local runnings, the friendly staff there will have tips and tactics for water bodies in your immediate area because these are the folks who know what's going on. In addition to that, they're going to be able to get you geared up for what's going to be a great spring season as soon as we get a good solid melt, as soon as things settle down and warm up. So stop in at your local runnings, talk to the folks there, get the jigs, that ultra light line uh, in that four pound test and a rod, you know, six foot rod, five foot rod, the, the, the rods that will give you the sensitivity uh, to connect with these fish and enjoy this time of year as soon as you can get out. I know that you're antsy for spring, as am I. That's why we're up here. That's why we're having a good time on a great panfish water and later in the season, a great bass water. There's a lot of good fishing in store. Hold out a little bit longer. I promise you spring will be here eventually. And when it comes, you'll be ready. For The Rundown, I'm Nick Simonson. Good fishing to you.